Hey, welcome to Unknown. Now we are going to see how to use DNA sequences to find a biological species. Or in another way of saying, how to identify a species using DNA sequences. Okay, not all DNA sequences can be used. Uh, there are more genes for molecular taxonomy, for example. It is an RNA for bacteria. So what we are going to use is, we are going to use last analysis, a basic local alignment search tool. What it literally does is, when you give a DNA sequences, it will take a DNA sequences, compare it with the database, which contain a numerous number of DNA sequences of known species. When your DNA sequences find a 100% you know, similarity match, that's your species. Let us see how to do it. Okay. When I submit a DNA sequences to, you know, uh, when I send a strain to for say in DNA sequencing, this is how I will get a result. Usually they give in a FASTA format, which is nothing but, you know, this is a sequence title and we will have a DNA sequence here. Okay. So I have a DNA sequence, especially 6 RNA gene sequences for four strains. What I'm going to do is I will show you how to identify. This is the sequences I have received from the sequencing company. I will show you how to identify this species. Uh, here we are searching for a bacterial species using DNA sequence. What I do is I will copy the sequence first, then I will use class analysis for. So how to go about it? Here in Google type NCBI blast or you can go to NCBI page to uh, in the NCBI page you can find the blast analysis. So I have typed NCBI blast search basic local alignment search to click it. Okay. So you will have a page something like this, nucleotide blast and protein blast to basic forms. We will select nucleotide blast because it is a nucleotide sequence. So when I select a nucleotide blast, you will have a page similar to like this. Enter the accession number or FASTA sequences. DNA sequences can be entered here. Okay. There are various options available for blasting or blast analysis. So what I will do now, I, whatever sequences I have copied, I will paste it here. So I have given the DNA sequence here in the box. Okay. So I have selected the standard database. Usually I will exclude unculturable or environmental samples because in environmental sample, we do not isolate bacteria, but from the environment, whatever DNA we have obtained, we have sequenced here. I don't want those results to impede my results. I need sequences of previously identified bacteria. So that's how I can compare my sequences with the database sequence. So I usually select show results in you know new window option at the bottom so that the results are displayed in the new window. So when I click blast, another window is opened here. So you could see this page will be automatically updated in two seconds. What's happening right now is today the whatever sequences we have given is a query sequence which is being compared with the database sequences. You will see uh, here is an option running on based on the traffic of the server and the speed of your internet. Uh, this will be kept updating. So after uh, a closest match is found, the page will refresh automatically and it will display the um, database searching results. So right now what's happening is uh, the sequence has been actively compared with uh, millions of uh, 16 RNA sequences in the database and they are trying to find the closest species match, bacterial species to the submitted sequence. As I said, uh, the search time depends on the internet speed and also uh, it depends on the traffic in the server. So the search is still on. Uh, here you can see the uh, access ID that is being used for searching. Uh, what time it is being submitted at, what is the current time. Finally, they will tell you how much time they took to find the result. Okay. So, looks like the server is uh, very busy now. You can see the time taken for uh, you know, displaying the results keep on changing here. Actually, it's keep on increasing. So, the server is really busy. So, what has happened? Uh, I want to refresh you. We have selected, uh, typed NCBA blast in Google. We have selected this option, NCBA blast. Then in this page, we have given the 
DNA sequences. Okay, the sequences for which we want to know the bacterial tree. This can also be done through uploading a notepad file here through this option. Okay, then uh, there are uh, several options here. I usually go with the standard database so for uh, uh, searching for first time. There is a nucleotide collection. You can select a specific database from here and also compare your DNA sequences. Uh, why exclude all the environmental sequences from the result section? Then sequences from any typical material that we don't need to select. We need to see highly similar sequences. So that's the default option it is here. Uh, I usually select show results in other page because while the sequences are being loaded, uh, you can explore other options. So here is the results finally. Uh, it has been displayed here. So this is how the result page will look like. Okay. So I will tell you what is what has happened. So our query length is 1,365 base per, uh, which is been indicated here. Okay. And uh, here is the result. So among various scores and uh, query coverages, query coverage is nothing but how many base per in this 1,365 has been matched with the database. If it is 100%, it means all 1,365 base pair has found the match. To which bacterial species? Cephalococcus, Lugden, and Cephalococcus. What has happened here? Percentage of identity. This is very much important. It is 99.34% identical to this species. Usually for 16S RNA gene, the cutoff is 3%, which means anything more than 97%, 98, 99, or 100% can be used or can be considered as the same species. This is a generalized statement, and for gen this score can be general specific and species specific, they can also be modified. So that's how we know that. Also, you can see the percentage of identity keep on decreasing. Descending. If you go to the bottom of the results, uh, usually 50 to 100 sequences will be displayed in the result section. And yeah, they have 100 sequences displayed. The first sequence is usually the closest to match uh, that we can find. It is 99.34 percent identical to the, you know, it is showing its complete genome. You know, 23 lakh uh, base pairs are there, 26 lakh base pairs. But you can, if you see here, you can see it is RNA ribosome, RNA gene. It is 99.34. Uh, so these sequences. We have belonged to Cephalococcus, Lagdenensis species. So that's how we will know uh, what, you know, after uh, sequencing, how this is how we will uh, find the species. So that would be a question why to do all the traditional or classical uh, biochemical other characteristics. Now we have additional data. You can also cross check US, you know, I'm very sure this thing is, will be gram positive, you know, Takai. Non spore form and non motile. You can check your uh, classical or traditional results, biochemical and morphological results. Once again, I will uh, show you how to do it uh, with the different sequences now. See, this is how the results look like from the uh, sequencing company. I have submitted four back to strains. These are the four uh, sequences. They used to usually sequence bi directionally. They will compile the uh, forward and reverse sequences and they have given. So I am going to find the species name of the uh, this sequence KGC 195 string. So I copy the sequence. I go to so in the Google uh, I will type uh, NCBI bash okay basic local uh, alignment search tool. So here in the first result I use select. If you want also you can select the nucleotide class that has been displayed directly which will end up in this page where you have to paste your DNA sequence. Whatever sequences I have copied, you have, can paste it here. And the standard database is the default option. Better exclude environmental samples. Show the results in the new window. When I click blast, the new window will be displayed. As I said earlier, what is being done is your sequences is being compared with the database sequences. and uh, you know, uh, closest to match has been screened now. Uh, actually, they are they use a concept called the pairwise alignment to align your uh, DNA sequences or query sequences 
with data of database equals which is also called as subject sequence we are using 16s rna database you know rna gene sequences for identifying a bacteria all four things that is been submitted belong to bacteria as you see the results are ready now it is been displayed so the sequences we submitted has uh, 1381 Uh, basically actually this sequencing is done from uh, barcode biotechnology they are uh, you know well professional uh, they are of uh, perfect profession because uh, they don't stop sequencing until they reach at least 90% of uh, the target length so we can say all sequences are more than 1000 based on positive parameters uh, so this sequences belongs to entrocopexicali because they are 99.13% identical to the enterococcus fecalis which is in publication if you want to know about your closest to match click the application number another page open will tell you it is been published in 2007 uh, they are 1470 based but the closest to match okay they are from pakistan and uh, it uh, they have taken isolated dust from uh, leaves all those information you can obtain here. so basically you can also verify till 98 and 99 percent the same species so it is highly likely that your species is enterococcus fecalis that's how blast analysis works and that's how using dna sequences we used to find the bacterial species so if you have any questions you can uh, always write it in the comment keep watching and know